Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk to you about my top five favorite 3x3 speed cubes. Uh, this is a personal preference list, so I'm sure some of you guys will disagree with me on a few things, but these are the cubes that I feel that I could recommend to anybody and I know that they'll get good times on them and enjoy the puzzles. In fifth place, we have the Guoguan Yuishao Pro M. Uh, this cube is the one that most people will probably disagree with me on, but from the beginning it was one of my favorite puzzles. Like most of the puzzles on this list, uh, it does come in some premium packaging with a bunch of add-ons, meaning it does come at a bit more of an expensive price. At around 33 Canadian or 25 US dollars, this cube comes with a few accessories inside. You have your Team Moyu cards, you have a cube stand, a screwdriver to tension it, and it's actually a pretty nice size and a cool blue. And then hidden underneath, don't forget about this one, you actually have your tensioning tools and some magnets as well as a manual, which no one really cares about. This is actually one of the first flagship puzzles that got rid of the squared off corner design and rounded its corners. The way that it got away with this is by making the inside of the corner a lot more defined and a lot more sharp, which prevents the dreaded corner twist that kind of existed on all puzzles before the Tang Long. Next up, we have Moyu's flagship puzzle, which is the Moyu Weilong GTS 2M. This is one of those puzzles that pretty much everyone agrees is pretty decent, if not their main. It does come in a very premium box and was one of the first to introduce the magnetic clip, I believe. It does come in at 34 Canadian or around 26 USD, so it's definitely up there in price. Once you open up that beautiful box, you've got the cube inside and then you've got two uh, Team Moyu cards. And then underneath the plastic, again, a lot of people don't know this, you have some spare magnets and your uh, how to solve manual. Honestly, this cube is crazy fast out of the box. And I think one of the things uh, that actually causes this is its unique centerpiece design. It has a pretty uh, like defined ridge, which most cubes don't have. And then it also has that classic blue Moyu core. Number three on this list is the always popular Falk 3. This is the flagship of Chi Yi Mofengi, and it's super popular amongst pretty much all cubers. Personally, I find the feel a little boring, but I can't deny that it is a phenomenal puzzle. This cube was actually the first cube to come marketed in a really nice box like this. Most of them just came like normal retail boxes with the window in them, and the Valk was the first one where actual effort was put into the design of the box. Because this puzzle is not magnetic, it actually comes in at a much lower price point than the other puzzles, at around 26 Canadian or 20 American. In the box, you get the cube, and then you get this little pamphlet of basically Valk things that are like a Valk sticker, some different like pictures of Matt's Valk himself, uh, and a few other things like that. The Valk's feel is like really airy almost. The plastic feels really harsh and uh, like it turns really fast. It's hard to explain that except by looking at the pieces. You can see that there are hollow corners um, in the corner piece and then the edge also has that hole going through the middle which I think attribute to the hollow feeling of the puzzle. Next up on the list at the number two position, the one that will be most likely debated amongst the comments other than the Golga on Yuishao, is the Valk Power M. This cube is the updated version of the Valk and it's definitely one of my favorites due to the really soft premium feel that I think the puzzle has. Now this puzzle does come with a lot in the box, but with that it comes with a uh, hefty price tag of around 47 Canadian dollars and 36 American dollars. 
Uh, but the reason for that is once you open up this box with its magnetic clasp, uh, inside you have the cube displayed pretty nicely. And then under the styrofoam there, you have uh, your conical springs. And if it's stickerless, you have a center cap for blind. And if it's stickered, uh, you have some replacement stickers. Now that's really cool uh, that Chi includes these. And I think that's one of the reasons why I like it so much. The reason it actually ranks so highly for me is because of the internals. Uh, Chi decided to make the internals primary plastic and fill in a lot of the holes that the original Volk had. And it has a super, super premium and soft feel uh, that I really, really like. Finally, in first place, we have the cube that pretty much everyone here is expecting. And that is the Gan Air SM. This cube becomes magnetized like all on this list, except the Volk and is just a phenomenal cube in terms of feel, quality, and what you get in the box. Now, this cube's in first, but it definitely comes with a hefty price tag at around 60 Canadian or 45 US dollars. And the reasoning for that price can be seen in the design and attention to detail that goes into this puzzle. Once you open up the box, inside you actually have two sets of GES springs, which are GAN's way of tensioning the puzzle. They come in really annoying boxes and they're a pain to open up, which is probably my largest gripe, but at least they come organized in the different colors. They also give you a card uh, if you're interested in identifying your puzzle, I suppose, and a manual to let you know how the GES springs work. The cube also comes in a really nice plastic box uh, so that you can carry it around. It's super nice and just overall I think this is my favorite packaging by any cube. That's not the reason I like the cube. The reason I like the cube is actually the unique feel that you can't get anywhere else. The magnets are like super strong but in the right way. Like the cube is still really easy to turn um, and feels like it can move in any which way you tell it to and it's just a really, really impressive puzzle, uh, despite the price being so high. All right, that just about wraps up this video. Those are my top five. I'm sure that you guys will argue with me in the uh, comment section down below, uh, but I encourage that. Let me know what your top five cubes are uh, and what you dislike or like about this list. You can pick up all of these cubes on a variety of different cubing websites, uh, such as our own, uh, shameless plug there, uh, which is cancube.ca. Uh, if you live in Canada, that's a great bet to pick up the puzzles. If you live in the States, you can try out sites like cubicle.us or Speedcube Shop. If you didn't want to deal with uh, setting up any of these puzzles, we do actually have premium or maple versions of these puzzles available on cancube.ca and I'll leave descriptions down below uh, for you to go check out. That's all for now and I'll see you guys in the next video.